You're pleased with the results so far? Uh, yeah, so uh, I haven't been doing much racing, but recently yeah. did a 25 and uh, did a pretty quick time there, so yeah, pretty happy with that. How much of a surprise was it to do what it looks like having been at the time, and probably still is, the fastest time for 25 this year? Uh, well, well, I'd never done a 25 before, so I was uh, kind of nervous going into it mm. as I didn't know how to ride it. I've never done like an effort that long before. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a tailwind out, so it kind of helped me sort of get into a rhythm and then just... But the longest stretch was the headwind. Yeah. That was tough. That was. <laughs> kind of had to, I had to say... I think something. it was about 13 miles. Um, yeah. It was 10, 10 on the way out, about, yeah. about 15 on the way out. So how do you manage to keep the speed up for such a long stretch of road into a wind like that? I don't know, just, I just kept, I, I mean, I saved, saved some gas on the way out. Yeah. Uh, I went through 10 miles in about 17, 18 minutes, so still pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, but then I just, just kept some beans for the mm. last, the last stretch. Now you're a first year junior. Yeah. Um, so how do you train someone so young? How do you train to be so quick? Are you doing structured work? You're not just uh, yeah. going out riding a bike? No, I get set some training by my coach yeah. uh, weekly. So that just depends on usually towards goals or races. Yeah. The training will be set on yeah. that. And when you look at guys like Connor Swift coming out here, who's now going to be riding the Tour de France and doing events like this, um, is it a bit of a target his time? Would you like to get close? Yeah, so yeah, I mean, I think got pretty close to him, so I'd like to see yeah. if I could. And what sort of gearing are you, are you riding open gearing? Because of what you're allowed to do under CTT? Yeah, yeah I'm riding quite big gears. I'm riding a, I've got a 55 11, so I mean, I don't tend to use the 11, but it just gives me that gear if I ever needed it. With fast courses, with downhill sections, kind of. But it still looks like, as I said to you when I arrived here, you're still, you're still lacking a few aero things on there, a few yeah. aero chain rings and that. There's a few more. Have you done any bike fits or anything like that? No, I mean, all, all my, my position is just me and my dad doing it. Yeah. So it's just set up. I've never thought of getting one, so I'm quite happy with how I'm set up. And the rest of the year, you've got the 10 champs. How much of a target is that? Because it's you look at the size of the field and who's going to be riding it looks like a real mega event yeah i mean it's probably the best race we're going to have this season so yeah. it's, it's quite a big goal going into it hopefully hmm. yeah do a good ride this is what i've been looking forward to over the past a lot of weeks. good juniors around isn't there yeah yeah it's a lot gonna, of fast it's, juniors i think the course record there is about 1905 or something yeah. so i reckon that's going to be broken by what's your fastest 10 so far um, what have I done? I did a 1904 at Mallory last week. All oh, right. So, yeah, yeah that was pretty fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. And 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 finally, what are the what are your goals? And your dad's been in the sport a long time. He's still in the in the cycling business. What are your what are your overall goals? Are you looking to to make a career out of this? Yeah, I think so. I think as I move towards under 23, I'm still a first year junior, so kind of mm -hmm. just going along with it at the moment and just hoping like just getting the enjoying races and getting experience and then going to 23 probably start deciding what I want to do hopefully yeah move on.